Hey y'all, welcome to Homestead Budgets. My name is Heather and today we're going to be doing my first unstuffing for the month of February as well as a small condensing of uh, some of my envelopes. If this is your first time here, I just wanted to say welcome. I take y'all along with me on my cash stuffing journey as someone that has variable income from my small business, as well as my husband and I both have a working homestead. Well, not both of us separately, both of us together, obviously, but we have a working homestead here in Virginia, as well as I am taking y'all along with me to show you how um, we are kind of cash stuffing our way through our IVF journey. Um, so if this is your first time here, I would love if you decide to stick around and see what we have going on here, especially in the next couple of months. It'll be, uh, lots of moving parts around here. Um, but if it's not your first time here, I just wanted to say thank you for coming back and thank you for always showing so much support. I appreciate it very, very much. Um, so basically in this video, we're going to start off with unstuffing everything that I need to, um, pay back my buffer for. And then after that, we're going to do some placeholder swaps. And then um, lastly, we'll go through and do the actual bill condensing. Um, so we are going to start in my everyday binder. And we are going to get $35 out of pets. Um, this is, we take our dogs um, swimming. I did not pull out enough. We take our dog swimming, um, and, uh, because our Rottweiler had, um, two TPLO, like two knee surgeries last year. Um, so the swimming is one, she absolutely loves it. And then two, um, it's really, really good exercise for her. Um, so this is basically what we pay for the two of them to be able to swim for, I think like 30 minutes. Um, so it's pretty cool. I'll put up. I'll put up a picture here if I have one. It won't be from, um, you know, the one that like we just did because I don't think I got any. But um, I know that we've taken pictures of them before. But it is just the cutest stinking thing to see them, um, to see them swimming like that. Our Doberman hasn't quite figured out if he is a super big fan of swimming yet. Um, but our our Rottweiler, she loves it. Um, next we are going to unstuff health. Um, I told y'all in my, um, <clears throat> in my cash stuffing for this week that our health premium went up astronomically. Um, so we are basically using this money plus some money that we have in our, um, fertility savings and our high yield savings account to go ahead and pay for February's premium so that we were covered for some of the testing and things that we need to get done. Um, so yeah, so that needs to come out. And then I need to grab $10 out of subscriptions. Let's see, so we'll just take the fives. And then that is going to be it in this one. The next one that we need to do, I don't need to pull anything out of my homestead binder. So the next is going to be um, my business binder and I'm just going to pull out the 50 that I have for gas. So that way I can put it on the gas card that I use for um, my business. And that's actually going to be it. There's not a whole lot to um, unstuff for this past week. We didn't really do a whole lot of spending. Um, so that's kind of it on that. So we'll give this a count. Just so that way I know once I have, um, once I go through and do placeholders and swaps, I know that I have the right amount left. So we've got 152, 20, 35, 45. So 245. And we'll get this set back up and then we are going to um, go through some of these and uh, replace them with some placeholders. So the first one we're going to start off with is my fertility savings envelope. And so we've got 3000 I believe there's enough in here for another $1,000 
placeholder. So we've got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, and we'll do, so that's 11. So I'm going to pull out that $100 placeholder. So this should be $1,000. So we got 50, one, I'm sorry, not 50, 500, six, seven, eight, nine, and that's 1,000. So I'm going to put the hundreds back. I'm going to put my placeholder back with the others and not grab a thousand. I mean, I almost grabbed a hundred. I need to grab a thousand. So bear with me just a second. Okay. Alrighty. So, and since we're in here, so that way I don't have to come back into this binder because this is the only envelope that I have in this binder. I'm going to go ahead and trade this out for a 50. Okay. So we now have three, 4,150 in fertility savings. And then as we have to pay that, um, health insurance premium, um, whatever I have to pull out of the high yield savings account. Cause I know that I will have to pull some, I'll just come in here and update the, uh, placeholders to whatever we have left in that account. Next we are going to do, um, that might be it on, I think that's it on placeholders. I think the rest is just cash condensing um but if i run into something where i need a placeholder um we will just do that um so groceries i believe is completely con condensed down dining out i am going to get rid of these ones um i know that they're going to get spent anyway but i just don't want to stretch out that envelope so one two three four and five Okay, so we still have 10, 15, 16, 17 in here. All right, and then spending just got stuffed with 25, so I know it's condensed down. I believe pets is condensed down. Yeah, so the way that I grabbed that $35 out of there, um, this has $35 left, so it is condensed down. And then self-care has 15, so it's good. Normally I don't have to do a whole lot of condensing in this binder because this is the one that I spend out of um, on the regular. Okay, moving on to sinking funds. Uh, date night does not need anything because it hasn't been stuffed in quite a bit. Baby fund. We will trade these tens out for a 20. So it now has 120, well still has 120. Skipping over health. Medical just got stuffed with 10, so it's good. Vacation just got stuffed with 25. Subscriptions has the 20. Um, annual bills. Okay, so we will take a 20 for this. All right, and then miscellaneous. Um, I normally leave... Um, I don't normally condense miscellaneous down for um, just in case I ever need to make change or anything like that. I just like to keep some lower bills in there. Um, so now we're going to go through um, our holiday binder, which normally needs some condensing. So in Easter, we have 20, 35, 41, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So let's grab one, two, three. I'm going to keep those nicer ones in there. Um, and uh, this should be 20. Let's see. I'm going to trade out the ones for, I think there's one nice five. And then uh, we will trade this out for a 20. I feel like that was kind of a super roundabout way of doing it, but that is okay. Okay, so we've got 20, 45, 6, 7, 8 in there. Oh, I just remembered where the other pla the other placeholder that I needed to do is in um, the Homestead binder. So 
we will do that when we get there. Um, 4th of July has 20, 1, 2, 3, and 4, so that's fine. But I am going to trade out that worn one. Let's see, Halloween. So we will trade out these fives for a 10. So it still has 30. Black Friday, I believe this has 90, um, but we'll take advantage of that 50, so that way I have some 20s to use. Um, so let's keep um, these and we'll put that back for a 50. So still 90 in Black Friday. Oh, and I think I can do a placeholder for Christmas too. I knew that there were more things. I just could not remember off the top of my head. So in Christmas, we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 135. So let's keep a 10 and I'm going to grab a nicer 5. Okay. And then from there... This is what, 50, 70, 90, 110, 120. So we will keep a 20. So this should be 100. 50, 70, 90, 1. Okay, great. And what we're going to do here is I'm actually going to put in a placeholder. So that way, because we're so far away from Christmas, I'm going to let that $100 sit in my high yield savings account and at least make a little bit of money. Um... Okay, so 135 going back into Christmas. And then we'll see if gifts, I think, can use a 20, maybe. 10, 15, 20, yes. All right, there we go. And then for my homestead binder, excuse me, bulk shopping has 30, so it's okay. Household, 20, 35, 40. So we'll put back the fives and the 10 for a 20. House maintenance. Has a 25, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we will take these and grab a 20. So house maintenance has 40 going back in. Um, feed just has the 10, so that's okay. Electric has 30, and that's okay. Garden is good. Projects. So these are just for house projects. Has 15, so it is good. All right, and then we'll see. I'll probably just condense this down with a 50 for the chicken fund. Yeah, so we'll do, we'll put back these 20s, grab a 50 and a 10. So that is still 65 in there. Um, we'll probably purchase those, um, I would assume, fairly soon. Um, so then that money will come out of there. Um, and then Homestead. So this is the other one that I needed a placeholder in. So we're going to take um, one, two, three, four, and five out. So that's 100 And then put in another $100 placeholder. Make sure we're all in order here. So we've got five, six, seven, eight, nine hundred in my high yield savings account, nine twenty. And we'll be done with this one in the next couple of weeks. So that will be exciting too. All right. Moving on to my business binder. Car maintenance. We will grab a 20. So 40 going back in there. Uh, 
Growth um, has 25, so it's good. YouTube 20, 40, 5, 50. Um, and we don't have any more 50s. So, um, I am going to put this to the side for a second because I do believe that I have some 50s in my um, $1,000 savings challenge in here. Um, so let's condense this down really quick and see if we can get a 50 out of there to be able to use. Because otherwise that's going to be a little bit annoying. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 50... 70, 90, 710. Um, so let's do this. Let's do 50, 70, 90, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100. So I'm just going to double check that. 50, 70, 90, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's 100. So we will put all of these back. Oh, I didn't realize I had a space there. I don't know how that happened. And we'll grab a hundred. I'm going to grab a different one. Oh my goodness. Sorry, I'm picky. <laughs> All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twenty, thirty. Going back in there and that gives us the fifty that we needed in our business binder. Perfect. That worked out pretty well. All right, so going back, and we will trade 20, 45, 50 in for that 50. Great, and office has 10, 5, 10, 15, 20. I cannot count worth anything today. All right, so that'll be in there. Cell phone just has the 20, um, so that is gonna be everything for the condensing. All right, so we're now gonna give this a count to see how much total we have, and then as I'm going back to edit everything, I will subtract the part that needs to go back to my bank as a buffer and whatever the difference is um, was um, going back to my high yield savings account to take care of some of those placeholders. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 500, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20. 7, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 800, 810, 20, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, that's 900, 5, 10, 15, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, oh my gosh, I totally lost count, I'm sorry guys, I'm like not paying attention. <laughs> Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, that's 800, 10, 20, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, that's 900, 9, 5, 905, 9, I think that's where I messed up my last time. 905, 910, 15, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, that's 930. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 940. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay, so $945. Um, that's all going back to the bank. Part of that is. Um, the 245 is going to be going back to my checking account to pay back the buffer and kind of pre prepay for a couple of things coming up this week. And then the other um, $700 will be going into the high yield savings account um, into those kind of um, into those different buckets that have to do with each of the 
envelope. So thanks for sticking with me through that. I know that was kind of a shaky one, um, but I always appreciate you guys being here. I hope that y'all have a wonderful weekend and I will see y'all next week. Bye y'all.